hey y'all and welcome i am so happy to have you here with us today it's grocery day and we're headed to walmart i've got a couple of other things to do first i'm gonna go through the car wash this this car is needing it something awful so we're gonna go through the car wash we get there i think you wanted to go in walmart and look at something right and audrey wanted to go in and look at something so we're gonna go in before we go over and get the pickup order so i'll bring you in the store with us we'll see if we see anything interesting and then i'll get our order and come home and show you what we got also y'all want to go get breakfast somewhere yes because i haven't had breakfast and i'm a breakfast person audrey is very much a breakfast person some of us are not so much breakfast people and then some of us are and audrey definitely is <laughs> she's ready for her breakfast <laughs> I decided to come over to Dollar Tree before we head into Walmart. I had a little bit of extra time and I want to get an air freshener for the car in here. And I thought while we're here, let's look at their back to school stuff and see what they got. Fall things are starting to make an appearance. They so pretty. What, baby? Well, I wasn't intending on looking at fall stuff while we were in here, but I mean while we're here I see a lot of the things that yes darling I, I see that I see a lot of the things that they usually have but some different color variations These pom-pom kits be a fun craft for the kids. There's a pumpkin, a scarecrow. What is this? So, is it a set? Yeah, two different size notebooks. These could go in a binder the desk organizer packs are pretty neat together too. It's pretty neat. It has two separate um, where you can put two things and then a spot where you can put like dip. That's pretty neat. These have built-in ice packs. Now, Walmart. Let's see what they've got in here. Did I miss these for like 4th of July or something? Red, white, and blue Captain Crunch treats. I don't look at the gluten-free section much, but I happen to see these. S'mores, fudge stripe, mint cookies. Bluey fruit snacks. What is this? Hmm. No, that wouldn't fit him, but it's cute. Little pumpkins. This is my first Thanksgiving. 
That would fit him. Uh-huh. I still don't have his size. Oh my goodness at all the cute clothes. Walmart is stepping it up when it comes to the clothes. I will say sometimes it seems harder. Oh, I was going to say it seems harder to find little boy things, but y'all look at this. How precious. How did I miss these this summer? Look at all the fall colored clothing. This feels so full of that. That is so soft. Oh, look at this little striped one. Oh yeah, there's the little pants that match. Can't quite bring myself to buy this warmer weather stuff yet. I mean, colder weather stuff. I'll link our Walmart school supply haul in case you haven't seen it. Before I show you what we got from Walmart, I thought I would show you what we grabbed while we were in Dollar Tree. So let's start with the fall kind of items that I got. I got this pumpkin here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a bluish gray and cream. This will go well with some of my decor. And this to put, it's, you, know, you put it in the ground, what do you call these things? Garden stake. I'm gonna put it beside the steps to the back porch. Oh, I got an air freshener, what I went in there for, but it's in the car. I couldn't pass up this sign. It just, it spoke to me. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. And I rarely get things if I'm not like, okay, this is where I'm gonna put that. Sometimes, you know, things speak to you, and so you go ahead and get them. So I got that. And then the rest is like uh, schoolish related things. So this gold tray I got so that my thought is the worksheets that the kids have at the end of the school day, they can put in here and then I can go back and check those. Hudson wanted this SpongeBob, their money flashcards, making sense flashcards. They're SpongeBob themed, so we got those. A big calculator. I had one of these and I don't know where it's gone. I like to use these big old calculators. So I got another one of those. And then the last thing from Dollar Tree is this calendar that you can put in a binder. And Audrey's going to put that in her binder. And I think it'll match nice. You got the sunflower binder, didn't you? Yeah, that'll look good with that. Speaking of fall. Audrey is going through our fall decor because I'm ready, y'all. <laughs> I'm ready to decorate. Call me crazy. Okay, groceries. And let me tell you. Here, you get to see my face again. When I do these grocery hauls and I don't mention all of the food that we have in the freezer and in the pantry and coming in fresh from the garden and that being the reason that I don't buy a whole lot of fresh produce, because we have those things. We have bounty coming in from the garden. We still have things we preserved last year. When I don't mention that, I seem to get more comments about me buying junk for my family and not feeding my family well. And y'all, one, I'm feeding my family, <laughs> not yours. And two, I think a lot of times those people are people that just, you know, happen to stumble across a grocery haul and don't follow our family on a regular basis. So with that in mind, I wanted to invite you, if you are new, to go and check out some of our other videos and see a little bit of what our life looks like because that's what we share here on this channel. We show you what it looks like to live in a small town in the southern United States and we share our gardens with you. We share our homestead with you. We share homemaking content with you, homeschooling content with you. So go check out some of those other videos if you're new. There is a prime example. All of those beans 
as soon as I get done with the groceries and get it all put away, have to be broken and canned. Let's start with the produce. So I got this bag of salad mix. I was, we've not had salads in a while. And I was thinking, come fall, we'll grow all the stuff we need for salads. <laughs> come fall, come fall. But y'all, I was wanting a salad. We're going to do zucchini lasagna. And I wanted a salad to go with it. So I got this and we'll use some of our stuff from the garden to bulk it up. Some bananas and some strawberries. These like, sub buns, we've got homemade bread. I actually just made some fresh last night, but I wanted these for some sandwiches as well. Uh, did I say strawberries? I think I said strawberries, bananas, lemons, and I want to put some strawberry and lemon in some water to have as a drink this week, but I also got these blackberry lemonade drink mixes. Sunny D, milk for Justin, the Fairlife milk, and then regular milk, some Dr. Peppers, and some Mellow Yellows, and then I got this Parmesan cheese for the zucchini lasagna, and some mild cheddar and some Gouda for snacking, coconut milk, coconut milk, vanilla yogurt, ricotta cheese for our lasagna, and then sour cream because I'm gonna do crock pot chicken stuffing, and I needed the sour cream, the cream of chicken, and the stuffing mix for that, and this isn't the stuffing mix that I usually get. They substituted this one, and it's the cubed stuffing, so we're, we're gonna try it out. I'll let you know how that works. Two of the Ragu Simply spaghetti sauces. This is my favorite store-bought spaghetti sauce by a long shot. So we got a couple of those. Some honey. I needed honey for something I was wanting to do. And usually I source honey locally. And I still will. I'll still get some honey. But I needed it quick. So I added that to the grocery order. And we needed some more peanut butter. Some muffin mixes for an easy breakfast. As well as these mini cinnamon toast waffles and some magic treasure cereal. I don't know that we've ever tried this garlic herb chicken sandwich meat, deli meat, but I got that. We still had some bologna as well. And then I got bacon. I don't know if we'll do this breakfast for dinner, breakfast on the weekend, but I like to have bacon. I got this big pack of chicken breast, and I know some of it was for the crock pot chicken stuffing, but I had a plan for the rest of it. And now I don't remember what it was. I'm going to have to go back and watch or look, look through my YouTube search history because I'm pretty sure I watched somebody make something and I was like, oh, I have everything I need but chicken breast. And now I don't know what it was. Uh, all of our chickens we froze whole. So a big pack of chicken breast. Some applesauce. A few different baby food things for Fletcher and for Wyatt. I got the Great Value chicken strips and some waffle cut fries for an easy dinner one night. And then these microwave pizzas just to have in the freezer for feed yourself night or easy lunch, something like that. Chocolate Pop-Tarts. The boys have been going through the popcorns. So I got some more popcorn and some of the Black Forest fruit snacks. Justin likes the, the Black Forest ones, so when I can get those, I usually do. These chili cheese corn chips from Great Value have been a huge hit around here lately. And I had some of y'all ask, are the Great Value ones as good? Yes. Yes, they are. We really like these. And then I got some Lay's Honey Barbecue Chips. We got a pretty good bit of non-food things this week, too, that added up. But we needed them. It was just, you know, sometimes it falls where you need all of those things at one time. We decided to go ahead and get... When we were in the store, we were walking through the baby section and Audrey pointed these out. And I've been meaning to try to get some kind of transition sippy cup for Fletcher. And so we got this Dr. Brown's sippy cup. This ivory body wash is for Audrey. And then this Dove is for me. And then Justin also needed some body wash. Uh, Justin needed vitamins. We needed some uh, sponges for the kitchen, so I got these Sponge Daddy. I don't know that I've ever gotten these before. I've gotten the Scrub Daddies and the Scrub Mamas, but I don't know that I've ever gotten these sponges. So we're going to try those. They've got the scrubby side and then the soft side. Having some issues with drains stopping up, so some clog remover. Audrey also needed some more shampoo and conditioner. 
and I had ordered a different one and they substituted the coconut oil so she'll try that out and see what she thinks about it some diapers garbage bags and I had gone away from getting the great value because they were like ripping on me but I've heard people say that they seem to be better again so we're gonna give them another shot and then some cat litter I had been getting the pine pellets and I really liked those because they had a very like natural smell they they did really well they absorbed really well the cats didn't track them in and out of the box bad but our male kitty cat started having some urinary problems and that can happen when you have those really fine pieces of shavings that get in there so we're going back to a more traditional I guess cat litter the pine pellets would be more the, traditional in the sense that this is what most people would use most common yes Meal plan for this week. So I know we're doing zucchini lasagna. I know we're doing crock pot chicken stuffing. We'll do those chicken fingers and fries. We'll have a feed yourself night, a takeout night. And then, like I said, I know I have a plan with that chicken. I've just got to figure out what it was. We also had tons, tons of fresh things coming in from the garden. So, you know, we may do a night, a night that's all vegetables or we will for sure have those fresh vegetables as sides with our meal. I also wanted to take just a minute in this video and thank the people who have sent us gifts lately to our P.O. box or from our Amazon wish list. Now, we don't expect anything from anyone, but what a blessing it is that you all think enough of us that from time to time you want to send us something. And I certainly appreciate that and didn't want to go without saying thank you. I am really looking forward to sitting down and we'll probably watch a show and break some beans. You're going to help me all sure i like breaking beans so that's on my to-do list today thank y'all for hanging out with us this morning i enjoyed taking you along with us i hope y'all enjoyed it if you haven't already we sure would love to have you subscribe and be part of our youtube family we love you we appreciate you and we will see you in the next one bye y'all